Hello and welcome everybody to a new quick tip video. My name is Michael from the YouTube channel 3D Escape and today I would like to present you how you can include the background into your uh, compositing system when you have the transparency checkbox checked. The question actually came from one of my viewers on YouTube and someone else actually answered that he had the same problem and he solved it in a quite uh, hard way as I think and I just wanted to share actually my solution with you because Blender has some built-in features to accomplish this and yeah I just wanted to share them with you. So here I made a really complex scene and da 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 so you know and by default it looks like this and also let's include a fancy background image dun, dun, dun. so this one and now it looks like this and quite often for post processing in the compositor later on you check this transparency checkbox and now you see all uh, the background is gone and we only get our objects the problem with this is that when we render this, we still get this transparent background. And for our final image, we of course want to get our background back. So I went into the node editor with Shift F3. I activated the rendering nodes, the use nodes and backdrop. And now we get this. And when we have a look at the image with Control Shift and left mouse, uh, mouse button we still get this transparent background and if we go through those passes uh, with the same shortcut so control shift and left mouse click we see we don't get the information of the background but to solve this so we can do our final composite we simply check environment re-rendered image because when you uh, check a new Pass, you need to re-render the image because Blender then saves this information and if we have a look at the environment pass now we see we get the environment background and also uh, some black areas where there are some objects but for now we don't care so we say color and alpha over and the environment needs to go on the top and now let's connected to the viewer and you see we get a nice image and the big benefit of this is that we can now say we for example want to color balance this cubes and now we can give them some nice colors whatever and the background stays intact but we still get some kind of a problem with this solution for example we're in when we want to scale uh, this, see we get those black uh, areas still. So to even solve this problem we go back to the 3D view with Shift F5. Let's deactivate rendering. We add in a new render layer and under the layer settings uh, we want to choose a layer where there is no object on it. So I could use every layer except the first one because here I have some objects. So it should look like this. So no object and nothing else. So when you've done that, uh, when you have done that, you wanna again make sure you have a layer where there's no object and also check environment. And now re-render the thing. And you will see that this render layer actually doesn't include anything at least it looks like uh, it doesn't include anything so let's duplicate it and you see we just get a transparent background the reason is that on this layer we don't have any objects so it means it renders only the background but we have checked that transparency checkbox and this means that background is transparent and this means the whole image is transparent. But when we look at the environment pass you see we get 
just the environment background. Now we can use that one to plug it into the alpha over node. And let's see this way. Now we can scale and color our cubes however we want. And we shouldn't get any problems. Well, now they got quite dark. So something like this. So scale, rotate and whatever. And we don't get any problems with the background. And maybe we want to do some uh, kind of color correction there as well. And give this one... I don't know what I'm doing, but just something. Yeah. Whatever, you can do the pretty stuff. But this, this was just to demonstrate the kind of workflow uh, of including the background. Yeah, and I hope uh, this video helped you out. And you now understand um, how to include the background into your uh, compositing pipeline. Uh, if you don't know what those uh, layer settings mean and all the kind of stuff, you can check out my render layer tutorial, which I've made quite a while ago, but it should be still uh, helpful. Uh, I will uh, have a link here on the screen right now. And yeah, that basically uh, concludes this video. So if you liked it, I would really, really appreciate if you would give me a thumb up. And uh, also if you have some time left, maybe you share it on your favorite social network so every blender head knows uh, how to include the background and if you want to support my channel I would also like to see you as one of my subscribers so if you haven't subscribed already uh, click that little button down below to get updates on all new videos I will upload and yeah, I don't want to steal any more time and because this is a quick tip, I will now stop the recording. But before I stop it, I wish you a nice time and happy blending.